Hello friends, my name is Nick and today we're going to do another online plant shop with me video. Today we're going to check out GabriellaPlants.com. I've actually never ordered plants from this website before. I've never even really looked at the website. So this is going to be an adventure. So I figured I should take you all along with me. And I'm sure many of you have probably ordered from this website before. They are a very popular purveyor of houseplants. They have a huge selection from what I've heard. Very good quality of plants from what I've heard. Uh, so I'm, I'm really excited to try it out. So uh, let's just go ahead and get started. You can see the website right here already pulled up. Like $100, that's our typical budget, so let's stick to that. And uh, I don't need any plants. I really don't need any plants. You're probably seeing a bunch of plants behind me on the counter. Those are ones that are where the tripod is sitting, so I had to move them away. So I do have room for these house plants, but... I don't need that many. So let's say three or four. So we'll have to assess at the end. But let's go ahead and dive right in. Most popular right now. All right. Well, this one's already exceeding our budget. I'm sure we're going to be able to find a bunch of plants on this website that we're able to fit into our budget. I'd like to try some really cool things. I'm going a little fast. Let's, let's slow down. One thing I've heard about this website is that they grow everything themselves, I'm pretty sure. Like they purchase all their plugs in and grow them all out themselves. And then they also do a lot of things from cuttings. I hope I'm not misspeaking on that. Oh, and we can also get 20% off. I don't have any personal code, obviously, because I've never ordered or collabed with this place. Field Entrance Summer Glory. That's pretty interesting right there. A new distinct variety and special introductory price. Oh, well, that's very sweet of them. Summer Glory is a colorful, robust new hybrid. An unnamed Bob Macaulay Philodendron hybrid and the pollen donor of Philodendron Gloriosum. That's pretty neat. That is a pretty cool Philodendron for 40 bucks. I would highly consider it. Honestly, that's pretty cool. I'm not trying to take up a lot of our budget immediately, but this thing is pretty neat. Let's add to the cart. Only 14 left. <laughs> if it sells out, that's okay. I feel like the main reason I never ordered from this website in the past is I've heard that ordering from them was, I don't want to call it a shit show, but like to their favor because they are very popular and they do very well that it's like they would post inventory and then like it would just like go out of stock immediately. And I just like don't bother with that, obviously. The craze of houseplants has kind of reached a little low point. Maybe we'll pick back up again. I'm fine with where it's at right now. It's fine. Things are not flying off the shelves the way they used to. So I feel like there's going to be a lot more variety today and things aren't going to be scooped up because they also, I, I don't believe they just did a restock or anything. I'm just, just had this idea today. <laughs> it's like, let me try it out. Alocasia cupria, but yeah, I'm not, talking shit at all by calling it a shit show, like literally to their favor because they are so popular that it was just apparently sometimes a little difficult to get some of their more popular plants, but I believe now it's a lot easier. So perfect time to go shopping. Um, so this Alocasia cupria, I don't know if the red secret's the variety before that used to be uh, very expensive. You can see right here, it says $75, not a $29, one item left. I don't really want to grow that. I'm not like a huge alocasia fan. I've struggled with many of them. I have that variegated alocasia in my home right now. It's doing decently well. It's put off some new leaves. They're not very big. We'll see how it goes. Apobolus. What the hell is this? That is really cool. This looks like something that would need a terrarium. Interesting collector's plant with amazing foliage. They are not lying. That is like a Syndapsis pictus meets like an Aglianema. Pretty cool, you guys. Uh, unique gray, silver markings, dark green splotches, likes warm and humid. Yeah, that would definitely want a terrarium. That's really cool. <laughs> we are barely in. The, oh my gosh. I think we're just gonna end up like we normally do. We'll probably just like put like maybe like eight to 10 things in the cart and then assess at the end the ones that we really want. But I don't wanna click view all because, well, let's click view all. I just don't wanna get too like, okay, so we're in the favorites category because I would like to search things by like their genus. That's how I like to do it or alphabetically in some websites cases. Uh, so let's go back down to where we were. Okay. 
filled in fuzzy petiole. That's been one that I've been seeing like at all plant stores these days and it's just not blowing me away. But I still love me a good filled engine. So one day I might have to try it. But especially for $22 down from $49, that's a really good deal. Why is everything on sale? I feel like <laughs> I only question that because when I worked at the house plant store, if a house plant was on sale, there was something wrong with it. But I don't feel like that's the case here. I feel like they're probably just enticing me <laughs> to buy more. It's working. It's really working. Hoya Croniana Black. That used to be so expensive. I don't need a Hoya Croniana again because I already have one. That's fine. Love it. All right. I think we've reached... Oh, no. There's 13 pages. I think let's, let's move over to the... Um, Let's like look up the Hoyas, because I'm really interested in getting a Hoya. Here we go. But I would like to check out a good amount of stuff. You guys know me. Okay, so Hoya Australis. Oh my gosh, there's a lot. <laughs> this is only eight of them right here, and you can tell from the way it's alphabeticalized that it was gonna be a lot. All right, most of these are sold out though. The only one available is the Hoya Australis Lisa. Hoya Fungi, I just got one of those from our last online plant shop with me. This looks like it might have been the better option, but I'm just gonna stick with the one I have right now. Sorry, I feel like I'm scrolling a little fast for this, but there's just not that many in stock right now, but there is four pages, so we'll never know. Also, I need to remember to click this 20% 20, 20 off because that could save us some money. All right, so here are some more funky ones. This one's $55, so we're gonna pass on it, but I wanna click on it because I've never heard of it. Hoya Mitrata. I love these leaves. Wow, the moisture on it's probably making it look a little bit more enigmatic than it would be if it's dry, but that's awesome. Wow, I feel like that was like a backhanded thing for me to say. It's true though. That's a really good deal. $14 for a Hoya Pachyclative. It's that big. That's a really good deal. Um, there's some cool ones. Once again, you can search this for yourself if you would like to really look at all of them, but I'm just keeping an eye out for the ones that don't say sold out at the moment. But there are a lot of really, really cool varieties, like this whole row right here. I don't think I've heard of any of these. Let's carry on. I'm sure we'll find something. Hoya <laughs> Flagolata. <laughs> that is the most amazing name. I would buy it for the name alone if it wasn't $60. Uh, it's just, you know, a chunk of our budget. But, you know, not really necessarily a bad deal for uh, Hoyas these days. <laughs> Hoyas have skyrocketed in price, so I'm happy to see that it's been going down. Just a little bit. This is pretty neat. I love, it's actually $17.99. Wait, okay, sorry, we didn't even look at it. <laughs> I was like, add to cart. $17.99 for this, if it's actually that full, amazed. I'm going to do an unboxing of all this stuff too. I'm not gonna do it at the end of this video, but I will post them back to back. So I'll probably upload this on Wednesday and then I'll upload the unboxing on the Friday afterwards, just so you don't have to wait because I don't think it's gonna take that long for this stuff to ship uh, in comparison to some other websites. I'm really interested in the fact that it's called Black Margin though. It's dark green with silver flecks, framed with a dark border. I'm sure it gets like even more, wow, that's so cool. Do you see that? I'm sure it gets even more pronounced with more sunlight. But I just love the leaf. Oh, goodness. That's a must-have. I feel like the other ones could be like, we'll decide. This one's a must-have. And there's one more page. Oh, my God. So I'm definitely not looking on a restock day. That's for certain because, um, you know, most of it's out of stock. But I think that that's better for me because, you know, I'm not coming here with a purpose. <laughs> I'm just doing some shopping. And then I feel like it's less likely that things might get pulled out of the car. I'm sure there's still a big like rush uh, uh, when things are, when this website's restocked, but I just don't think it's probably as epic <laughs> as it used to be. <sighs> it's 
Sorry. It sold out and it made me really excited. It's $300. Ah! I love it. I want it. Oh. It sold out and it's $300. That is... I'm a huge fan of Agli Nema. I feel like those have come to the, like, the top of my list. And I still think they're pretty underserved houseplants. Is this the same? What was that? I love it. It's currently in production. And $200. I wonder why it's so expensive. I'm just curious because like Agli Nema's, you know, they're not really hot plants. I feel like the tricolor Echo no, that's the one I have. The uh, tricolor, the Aglinema Pictum tricolor. Uh, that one I feel like was the only Aglinema that really garnered a high price. And then I feel like there was one more that looked just like the chocolate. I forget the name of it, but I'm sure it's coming to some of your minds. Uh, that the Rotundum. I think that one was also pretty expensive. But I'm just I'm not used to seeing Aglinema that expensive. So I'm curious. I'm sure there's good reason. Not gonna doubt it. Ferns, let's click on ferns. I would love to actually do like a new fern mount. I have one more of those like slats that I have my rabbit's foot fern on. That'd be pretty cool. I'm pretty picky with my ferns though. Like I wouldn't want something, not to call it out, but I wouldn't want like a button fern. These just crisp up in like a second. I'm more keen on like espleniums. This would be great. Uh, microsorums are also great. Staghorn ferns are great. They're really, Resilient in comparison to some other ferns, but it doesn't look like Yeah Sorry, I'm just like whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> Hope you can see oh, but there's another page. Oh, that's cool I think I just saw that they sold them in the band of baskets as well That's so neat Oh, that looks great That looks really good. I'm like I should grow a fern in a band of basket I have a couple like you can see the anthurium behind me right here Obviously, it needs to grow. It'll be a little bit more impressive <laughs> in a couple of years. Wait. I, wait, I've grown this before. It got scale really, really bad because I had it sitting underneath my Natal Mahogany, which had scale also really bad, and it just, like, really got hit very badly by its scale. Love ferns. So, went hand in hand. I would definitely... Wait! It's available. <laughs> it's twenty four ninety nine though. Um, I don't know if that's a bad deal. I've only I purchased this like huge hanging basket for um, like thirty five dollars. So that was obviously a really good deal. I love this though. You know I'm gonna put it in the cart. We can assess. Like honestly, I really love it. I could really use a new fern. They're they're wall art. Like literally. No one can tell me differently. You know what? Let's click on Calathea because I've had some really good luck with my Calatheas. My Stromanthe, which obviously not a Calathea, but very closely related, has been growing really well. Same with my Calathea orbifolia, although it's got a little bit of thips right now. We're taking care of it. I think it's fine, but that kind of sucks. I have the Mosaica that's been growing well, and then that recently inspired me to get a Lancifolia like two months ago, and that's been thriving. Like it's putting off a bunch of leaves and I'm like, I've grown this like three times before and it's never grown a single leaf for me. Or if it has grown a leaf, it's like the size of my pinky. So I'm just feeling that confidence. I was at the farmer's market earlier today too, because I needed stuff for a project. And I was just like, let me peek at the houseplants. And they had a Calathea Leopardina. Wait, I want this. I want this. I've been wanting to grow another one of these and it's really hard to find them in four inch pots. It's $9.99. If it goes out of stock, it's fine. But if it looks like that, and it's in a four inch pot, mind blown because they never look like that. They're always like one little piece, but you can buy like a six inch pot and it looks like that, like full. <laughs> Sorry, my sound effects aren't really getting the point across. $14.99 for this. No offense, but you can buy this at your Home Depot and Lowe's for like $9.99 in a 10 inch pot. It's nothing to write home about. But you know what? Maybe it's had a resurgence and I would love that. Oh, this is the one that I saw at the farmer's market earlier. 
Calafia Leopardina. The thing is, it's just not, it's cool because we don't see it, you know what I mean? Like it's a new Calafia, but it doesn't have the most incredible foliage, so I feel like that's probably why it hasn't been on the market until recently. Still like it though. I've heard about this. One of my friends texted me about it and she's like, what do you think about this? <laughs> Yellow fusion instead of the white fusion. And I said, well, I think it'll hide the browning. <laughs> oh, if you've grown a white fusion, you know what I mean. All right. That Tenanthi though. That Tenanthi though. Okay, let's check out Peperomias. Oh, ficus. That's three pages of <laughs> category. I think we're going through this pretty smoothly. Oh, we're gonna have to cook a Monstera, Peperomia, and Philodendron at the least. But there's also Syndapsis. Okay, let's just start, work our way through. I'm gonna avoid the like low light, high light categories because let's just look through the genus, generas. I don't think I need any Monstera though. I'm Monstera'd out at the moment. Some people are like Monstera crazy and I love that for them, but Monsteras don't look that different. Although they do have a really good variety. I'm like, well, let me take that back because they have like the sub pinata, they have the pinata partita. I'm thinking mostly if you go into a Monstera selection at your houseplant stores, they're gonna have Adansonii and Deliciosa Deluxe, just like multiple kinds of Adansonii's and the multiple sizes of Deliciosa. If you're lucky, you'll find a Saltipicana. But now they got the Dubia, Dubaya, I don't know. Uh, Panana Partita, $39, that's a really good deal. I feel like there was a plant store in Philadelphia selling these for like $100. The thing is, I just don't have the patience or the confidence. <laughs> well, you know what, I do have the patience. I'm ridiculously patient. I don't have the confidence combined with that patience <laughs> to <laughs> grow that out to its fullest potential. I think I'm just gonna, for now, oh, that would be a really cool one to grow though. It's like, for now, I think I'm just gonna go to the botanical gardens and enjoy it. Now, this is a good deal. Monstera Sepanata, three inch, $39. Now I have one of these. I feel like I'm lying by saying that because it's been a bare stem for over a year at this point. I'm honestly surprised it's alive. Multiple times I thought about dumping it, but I'm like, it's a Monstera Sepanata. I can't dump that in the track. But maybe it wouldn't be a bad idea to get one and then maybe pot it up with my bare stem to give me the illusion that it's still alive and that maybe one day the bare stem will actually grow. Let's throw it in the cart. Bull assess. We're definitely, what's the cart total at right now? A hundred, but that's not that bad. I was like expecting this to be like $250 at this point, I'm not gonna lie. 152 and we haven't even used to get 20% off. I think that's our pick for Monstera. There's so much going on outside right now. I'm so happy I live up 20 floors. That's something I didn't really consider. If you watched my, uh, one of my last videos, not my last video, cause I don't think I'm posting this. One of my last videos is when I'm filming this, but I'm sure I mentioned it maybe a couple times at this point, but I'm moving um, this fall and my apartment is not as high up as this one that I'm moving into and I'm uh, remotely concerned that the noise might be a factor. We will find out. <laughs> if the noise is a factor, maybe we'll just live there for a year. <laughs> we don't have to commit to longer than that, but uh, the space is really cool. I have a little video of it up on my Patreon if you are curious at all. But that's all I'm gonna say about that right now. Uh, Peperomias, these are all just pretty, oh, Gabriella plants. Why are you doing this? Pileas in the Peperomia section? Hmm. <laughs> I think that's just me remembering how often those plants were confused back when I worked in the industry. This, this is all the Peperomia? There's no way. This is all the Peperomia? Okay. That's fine. I think I, I thought they were gonna have a little bit more. There's plenty other varieties on their website. That's not a disappointment whatsoever. I'm just surprised. So 
So let's check out the philodendron. This could be dangerous. Oh, I am curious about the syndapsis because if they have more than just like pictus, it could be pretty cool. Okay. I keep like <laughs> entering it and then be like, boop. <laughs> I'm so sorry. All right, so Rio is a popular one. I did not know it cost that much money. I know there's like so many different varieties that like, you know, look very similar and have like this silver stripe here, this cream stripe there, and it's not for me, honey. I'm a pass. I'ma leave it for you guys. Silver Sword, that's a really good deal. Four inch pot for $17.99. I've been seeing like two inch pots for around that price. Twin plant, does that mean they have two? I have too much hostatum to even think about that. I don't think that's a filled engine imperial red. I think that's an alocasia. I, I, I can't, yeah, okay, sorry. I was like, I don't wanna be misspeaking on that. That is a lot of money. Oh my God, there's five pages. Okay. All right. All right. Let's find one to click on. Ha ha. Ha ha. Okay. Um, Florida, we grow that already. That's a really good deal. $14.99. It makes me want another one. But I literally have like three of them around my home. I do not need another one. I just love this house plant. Those leaves to die for. That leaf shape is incredible. What a good deal. Fantastic. A plus. Pedatum, that's also one I like a lot. It's not growing as well as my Florida, which makes sense because Pedatum's a species and then Florida's a hybrid and I think hybrids are made to grow better. They're like created to be more vigorous growers while Pedatum's a species, so. Checks out. Calkins Gold. Tell me how this is different from a painted lady, somebody. Please. That's Summer Glory though, that is pretty neat. Not a must have, but it's pretty neat, 100%. I think that might, it might be your pick. Maybe I'm saying that too soon. We're only on page three, but that might be like my pick. Green Princess. <laughs> she tried, she tried so hard, but she only became green. Is this a Birkin or a Pink Princess that's reverted? it say? Oh, like Birkin Ball Green. <laughs> I love that. That's so fun. <laughs> like, I love it, but I hate it, but I love it. You know what I mean? <laughs> you guys know how I feel about the Birkins. Oh, goodness. Maya Y. That's... I'm like, is that what Maya Y costs? I feel like it used to be pretty cheap. But it's a really neat plant. Like, honestly, happy that it's getting the attention that it deserves, and a price tag that's more fitting. Pandora form. I don't remember it looking like that. Oh, okay, here we go. Neat. Wow. Let's see what it says. Last two photos show the final mature leaf shape. I'm avoiding reading these descriptions. I am sorry. Mature, what, does it say these are small? Is that what it's saying? You enjoy watching them grow, okay. There's very full, <laughs> I'm reading these backwards. Life would be so much easier if I follow directions. I'm terrible at following directions. I love to do things my own way and that is like my best and worst trait. <laughs> anyway, that is really, really neat. That's a really cool leaf shape. I'm actually a really big fan of that. Let's add to the cart. It's just, can I grow it? <laughs> <laughs> like, do I have the confidence? I feel like sometimes I buy plants little like this and they stay little <laughs> because I, I don't know. Sometimes I feel like I'm doing everything right, but I'm clearly doing everything wrong. This is how it is. Wait, what? Oxypence triangular? That's pretty neat. <laughs> Wait, I need a better way to describe plants. I feel like normally I'm like, it's gorgeous when I'm doing unboxing. So I'm like, this one's gorgeous. Oh my God, the leaves on this one is so gorgeous. And now everything is neat. I need more variety, my vocabulary. Ugh, I do that all the time. 
I like say like a phrase in a video and then I catch myself saying it like three times more. Drives me crazy when I'm editing because I don't realize I'm doing it until I'm editing the video. Ferrocosm. I think that one's been like dropping in price like remarkably lately. It's pretty neat. <laughs> Wait, crap! I just said it again! I did not try to do that. That was slipping, slipping my brain. Narrow Hostada. I might grow that already. Bernardo Pazzi, $125. I grow that and I bought a 10 inch pot for $60. Who knows? I don't know how things go in today's environment. So um, let's just check a little more. Obviously we have a lot in our cart. Let's see what our total's up to right now. $182. How many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have room for one more before we assess. Absolutely we do. Let's click on begonias. I've been into begonias lately. Huge list. Huge variety. Anything gonna pop out here? See, there is a bunch of like one-offs that are also important. Like that one that we pulled up um, before, the Apobolis. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. That's pretty cool. <sighs> I didn't do it. I was close to saying it. All right, let's click on ficus. A little ficus never hurts. I've been feeling more confident with them. When I was at the um, farmer's market today, they had the Altissima yellow gem in like standard trees. And they were a really good deal. And I thought it was gorgeous. And I definitely want to get some kind of tree when I move. The apartment I'm moving into is a lot bigger than the apartment I'm in now, and the ceilings are a lot higher. Upgrade, <laughs> mostly. <laughs> Downgrade in some ways. Upgrade in most ways. Yeah, nothing's really a uh, uh, spark and joy. Nothing's pushing my buttons. Although this is pretty cool. This is totally my vibe. Are you kidding me? I love it. That's so me. Is it in stock? It's in stock. It's a five inch hanging basket. <sighs> That's the thing though. Like I have room for, I have room for a couple plants, but also keeping in mind that I'm moving to a larger space. I'm like, I have, oh, I could get a couple more. I have to move them over to the apartment though. This is one that maybe I should keep in mind after the move. I love it though. This is everything and more. It just like looks so weedy and viney. Oh, crap. We're gonna put it in the cart. No promises. All right, let's just go back and look at the categories one more time. No, Syngonium and Syndapsis. We're never gonna get through this. The Trubium. I'd love to grow the dark form. That's cool. You know, like a lot of those Syndapsis, I'm always like in my mind, like they look very similar to each other. I don't think I would shell out money on like the weird varieties, but that Silver Lady is pretty neat. It's out of stock. And it's $60 for trying them, you know. Shane's Picks. I think Shane is the, I want to say the owner, but I don't want to misspeak. I think he's, I'm going to say the owner. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, what are his picks? Good taste, Shane. That sounded sarcastic. That was serious. <laughs> oh my God. No, I really like what I see. Really good taste. It's got the filled engine Florida. That's how you know. That's how you know. Can you put like speckled? That's how you know. Yeah, I like his picks. Goldie guy. Neat. I said neat again. All right, I'm just feeling stressed because, <sighs> yes, I'm clicking on all items. I'm not gonna put you all through this. 
unless there's anything really remarkable, and then I will meet back with you then. 35 pages, ah! Okay, here's something. This little jewel orchid. It's so cute, I have um, one jewel orchid right here, which has a Hoya leaf in it. <laughs> Uh, it flowered for me and I still haven't taken the flower stalk off. And it looks like there's a leaf I gotta trim off, but it's been growing really well for me. I got this from Steve's Leaves, which you can use code Philly Foliage to save 20% on your next purchase from stevesleaves.com. You're not gonna escape it in this video, even though it's about another houseplant store. <laughs> but yeah, it looks great. And I've never grown them before, so I could imagine trying one out and maybe doing like a little terrarium with it. I really like how this doesn't really have that venation that the other one has. I know I said three or four, but maybe we could do four or five. Syngonium aretum, nice. I also got that from Steve's Leaves and that is a really nice Syngonium. I did not click on the Syngonium category, did I? It's fine, you can do it. I believe in you. All right, that's everything. Let's do this. Oh, it's on my phone. <laughs> I'm filming with my phone right now. <laughs> Crap. Well, I'm gonna have to then place this order after I stop filming because I need my, <laughs> I'm filming with my phone right now and I can't <laughs> access my phone <laughs> to get the code, so. Let's assess first, and then I will go and get the coat. That's fine. So, like I was saying, the must for certain is this Hoya Verde Salada Black Margin. I also would really like to try this uh, Apobolis. Apopolis? Apobolis? I don't know how to pronounce it. It's really cool, though. I do really like it. I want to try it. Also, why was it $59.99? It's enticing me. It's working, Gabriella Plants. So which ones can we pass on? The ficus. Let's wait. Let's wait on that one. The philodendron. Super cool. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, I want them all. Okay. So let's be real. This orchid. We don't need it. We don't need it. It's cool. The monstera sepanata. We technically already have it. Let's try some new things, especially if it could possibly just do the same thing it's doing for me right now. Let's move into the new space and then maybe it'll start growing. That's, that'd be lovely. So we're down to 142.94 before we do the discount. How many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Between the Summer Glory and the Pandora Form, I want the Summer Glory. That's like, seems a little bit more exclusive like you could get a pandora form from uh, at least here in Philadelphia, sometimes, occasionally, <laughs> you could get one from a local houseplant store, but I've never heard of the Summer Glory, so that's a really cool find. But honestly, with 20% off at 112.95, this could be a pretty cool unboxing because then we have the Philodendron Summer Glory, really neat, Apobolis, oh my God, wait, I've never even tried to say that. Let me try to say the whole name. Okay, ready? Uh, Apobolis acuminatissima lavalai? 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 I don't know. Acuminatissima. I love that. <laughs> I'm so excited over that. Okay. And I really do want to try this fern again. And I feel like how I said I found it in Aiden Changing Basket before, but I really kind of want to grow it on one of my little like fern mounts. If you've watched my how to create a fern mount, video i think it would look really cool so i think it's on the pricey side for what i'm used to but i don't think i'm gonna regret it so yeah uh <sighs> i haven't looked at the shipping yet okay so if i use the discount code with the shipping i think it's going to be just over a hundred dollars so we're breaking our budget just a little bit and we didn't stick to our three to four plants. That's fine. We're gonna enjoy all of these very, very much. I'm very excited about all of them. So I'm gonna 
finish this up and wrap this up so I can go get that discount code. <laughs> and then I'm gonna place this order and I will see you guys in a couple of days, technically, for this video. <laughs> uh, and we will unbox all of these plants and I'm very much looking forward to it. So thank you so much for joining me. If you don't already, you can follow me on Patreon for even more houseplant content. You can follow me at Philly Foliage on TikTok and Instagram. And follow me on, in on YouTube, of course. Please and thank you. And I will see you guys for the unboxing. Have a great day.